Hi, I'm Ginny with Sharp. What I'm going to be showing you right now is how to add user codes. So that way, as you when you walk up to the MFP, you can put a user code. And also, a user code can be defaulted in the print driver, so everyone will be tracked of how many copies and prints that they will be making. So in order to set that up, we're going to get into our IP address using your browser. Once you enter that IP address, you're gonna log in as an admin. Once you do that, this is a screen that will appear. And the first thing we have to do is go to authentication settings. And we're going to enable. Once we enable, we're going to decide how do we want to track or have people log in either log in name and password or most common user number. The user number will be a five to eight digit numeric. I'm gonna click submit to take that change. And now it's going to ask me to reboot. So I'm going to reboot the machine because our next step is going to be going to user control and we are going to create as many um, codes as we need. We can have them department, we can have them individual. Up to a thousand is the amount of codes that you can have for your MFP. So once this gets rebooted, I'm going to go over to that user control. Again, it's going to ask me to log in as an admin. Okay, so now I'm going to just put in the actual user study. So I'm going to go down and we are going to add. We're going to create our name. So I'm going to use myself as one. And I'm going to put in my user number. Again, I say it's five to eight digits numeric. So I'm just going to put my code in. And it is as easy as put your name and Submit and register if I'm doing many or just submit. So when I hit submit and register, maybe I want to do the sales department has a code. And then I would enter their code. Submit and register and keep going to you put all of your users in there. Also under user control, under your user settings, I can actually see all the names that I have put in. Under user control as well, I also have my user count where I can actually go in to a specific name and show how many copies on the screen that they have made at that time. I can also go to user count and I can actually save my user counts and I can create an Excel spreadsheet that will actually show me how many copies in black and white, how many copies in color, how many prints in black and white, and how many copies in color. Codes can get very specific. You can have different groups. You can limit people to how many copies they can make. So that's why you're seeing that unlimited. Once you've done that, you can actually go back in and you can select all your people and you could clear their counts so you could start fresh at the beginning of a month. So under user control, really, it is as easy as just go in and add each person and then in their print driver, you would default that same code so you could track your copies and your prints.